Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? RC Addiction, man. We out here today. We got the X Max. My second time, third time running this. I had issues with the gears, not the gears were coming off, so I had to get some really good Loctite. So we're gonna see if it holds up today. That is a 25 pinion, 35 spur gear. Cal, Hobby Wing 1100 KV motor, Castle XLX2 ESC. We're gonna see what happens, boys. It's going backwards. I had to reverse the motor wires. I'm not running it censored, so it's totally, oh, it's totally okay to do that when you're not running it censored. Ideally, you would want, I'm gonna have to go, when I go home, I'm gonna hook this Castle XLX2 up to Castle Link, and I'm gonna reverse the motor direction that way. But for now, it's gonna do. I'm just hoping this fucking pinion doesn't come off. I haven't really had to have fun with this X-Max because of the pinion, but man, this is a uh, fucking loud as fuck. I don't know how it's supposed to sound. Those gears are fucking massive. Maybe I should put some grease. The only thing is this the um the gears, you can't fit the gear cover back over it. This fucking thing is just massive. Also, I got the Wide Max kit coming for the X Max. This definitely needs to go higher with the pinion, guys. I'm gonna have to gear this thing up. Initially, I had the Max 6 in this X Max, and that's what I was gonna run. I was gonna run the Hobby Wing motor with the Max 6, and 2535 is too hardcore for that setup. The ESC couldn't handle it. So I ordered 2035, and then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna throw the XLX2 up in here which I ended up doing. So now I'm stuck with the 2035 gearing when I, in reality, that ESC that's in there now can handle a lot more. I mean, thumbnail time. So yeah, it's geared kind of low right now, but uh, quiet until you start running it. <laughs> I mean, it's good enough. It has enough power to get around. Yeah. Tell you one thing though, I'm fucking super happy that this spur gear and pinion gear is not coming off. I thought I was gonna keep having problems with that gear coming off. And durability wise, um, I did break an arm on that backflip, on that bad landing jump, but uh, it was a really bad landing. And I also sended, I launched it pretty high. Over here at the BMX track, you don't have to, I don't have to worry about that too much because these jumps are not that high. Uh, I actually prefer this BMX track over the anything else just because of you know, there's different jumps and you could just bash straight like up and down. Using the ramp, I get a little crazy because I'm like, oh, it's landing on the grass, but you still have to land it properly. dirt maybe because I'm not sending it as high as I was with the grass jumps I mean what do you guys think I probably 
maybe 30 40 miles an hour i don't know maybe closer to 40 than 50. the only thing the only uh next upgrade that i need to do is servo servo definitely needs to be upgraded and i also need to gear it up a little bit and then i think i'm gonna really enjoy this no problems this thing is a beast now and who knows maybe maybe with the wide max kit it'll be even more of a beast Oh, guys, I think it was just needed to get warmed up, man. Now it seems like it's even more crazy. Yeah, maybe the gears just needed to break in a little bit. Or maybe it's because them lipos are warming up. I don't know. But it's definitely feeling a lot more powerful now as I'm using it. But yeah, look at that thing, man. It's just looking mean. Hell yeah. That's what we do here at RC Addiction, man. Every Sunday, we get it in. And maybe I'll throw my um, GNSS, my GPS meter on here to see it, take it on the road. I do have some street tires for this X-Max. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, nice. Oh yeah, the pinion gear wants to come off, doesn't it? It was lined up, initially. Missing the fucking grub screw that was there. Guys, there's so much power, it's like destroying these grub screws. Yeah, the motor's pretty warm. And what's cool about this WFO motor mount too, is it almost acts like a heat sink, man. This whole motor mount is pretty hot. I'm getting a fan for this, so that'll solve that problem. The ESC fan kicked on. That means that it's getting pretty toasty. Uh oh. <laughs> I noticed that the uh, the only reason I was even gonna check is because if you watch, if you look, watch when I give it throttle and then I let go, it kind of jerks. Watch. You see that? Yeah, that means that is the that has to do with the gears. That could have also been the reason why the why it's so noisy too, guys. But I'm not complaining, man. This is all little problems that are not that serious. I got mud all over me because I was trying to get good good fucking angles. That battery's at 3.8, aka storage charge mode. I'm gonna leave these batteries in so I could run it through the grass and try to rinse some of the mud off. Appreciate you guys watching, man. RC Addiction, man. I'll see you guys next Sunday. You know the deal. Every Sunday, RC Addiction. Please subscribe to the channel if you like what you've seen. And uh, yeah, till next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next Sunday. Peace.